Hey, YouTubers. Sancia posted on her Instagram about this uh, illness that she has. She says it's a hematoma. And uh, she has canceled her tour dates. And it's just taken the time to recover. Now it's been reported that the illness is undisclosed. But I see where uh, Sancia said it was a hematoma. So it's not a mystery illness that people are claiming. Unless something else is going on and she did not disclose that. So far, she has said it's a hematoma. So Sancia was forced to drop four upcoming events due to this illness. Sancia, take good care of yourself. The money is always there to be made. But your health is paramount. It's most important right now. So Sancia concluded recently, she concluded a series of performances. She was at Cardi B's birthday party bash. And this was last month, early last month. I'm hoping she did not pick up COVID or the other strains of the COVID-19 virus. You know, a lot of people still think this COVID-19 is a joke and they're not taking it serious. And they're still going into large crowds of people unprotected. I'm not saying she contracted COVID-19 from Cardi B's party, but what I am saying, there were plenty of people there not wearing masks. So hopefully it's just that, just the vocal cord issue. So this is what Sencia posted on Wednesday. She said, Unfortunately, I will not be attending the fourth events this weekend. To the promoters, please understand, as my health is truly at risk. I'll be out for a while, she further stated. And this is unfortunate because now Sincere's career has really taken off. She was slated to be one of the feature acts at a Revolt Summit in Atlanta, Georgia between November 11 and 13, spearheaded by American rapper Sean Diddy Combs. Now that's big when Sean John is involved in anything. Other feature acts billed for the summit are Chance the Rapper, Lil, Lil Yahtzee, Rick Ross, Jeezy, Ruby Rose, and more. Sencia posted this pic in the hospital just to document the seriousness of her hospital stay. Sencia has been touring a lot. It is said that she is the number two artist in the business. When it's your time, it's just your time. Because Sencia said she doesn't understand why, even when her songs are not a hit, she still gets a great response to her music from the fans. She does separate the private life from the public life. She doesn't respond much to criticism in social media. I guess she's patterning herself after Beyonce. Beyonce doesn't respond either from criticism from social media. So, Sancia went to the doctor and was diagnosed with a mild vocal cord trauma back on November 10th of this year. So, she said she realized it was very serious when she was told by the doctor to stop performing immediately. And also, no loud talking, no shouting, and no singing. Can you imagine? not being able to sing, and that is your livelihood. So the doctor told her to take medication and rest for two weeks, which she is currently doing. In a live chat video, Sensia explained that the doctor told her if she did not stop singing as soon as possible, ASAP, her condition will get worse and possibly and her musical career. She also talked about canceling upcoming shows in London 
and Birmingham. She went on to say that she was sorry for the inconvenience and disappointment she had caused her fans and her record label. A statement was put out by Remish Entertainment and asked for the fans to pray for Sancia and further stated that although Sincia was taking it light at first, the situation is really very serious. Sincia further stated that she haven't been able to sing a song properly and she said her shows, when she does her shows, you can hear her voice leaving in the middle of a song. And she further stated that she was going through this for a month and not taking it serious. And she said, usually, the feelings goes away. Usually, usually goes away after two days. So she said she started to take it seriously when, for her, DJing is easier than singing. And when she could not DJ at all, that's when she started to take it seriously. At that point is when she went to a doctor and was diagnosed with a mild vocal cord trauma. And she was advised by the doctor to stop singing immediately, stop performing. Just rest for two weeks, take the medication. No shouting, no singing, and no performing. So since it's a mild vocal trauma, if she continues to raise her voice or even to sing, it will further damage the vocal cords and then she may not be able to sing at all. Before announcing that she was sick, Sancia was traveling back and forth between Jamaica and the United States for performances at Rolling Loud Miami and New York. So if you have such a hectic schedule, you're going to be exhausted and maybe you're going to have voice issues with your vocal cords. So that explains why, because she had such a hectic schedule. Sencia has been one of the hardest working artists in dance hall since she debuted five years ago in 2016. And over the years, we, we have seen her evolved. So some of the miss events She's likely to miss a few more performances, depending on how long she needs to recoup from this illness. The Revolt Summit in Atlanta will be one of the events she will miss in November. Remish, who is her former manager, spoke highly of her, about her work ethics, and stated it was the main reason why he signed her to his team. So it was November 10th when Sencia announced that she was hospitalized on her Instagram page. So it's been a month now. And she should be feeling a little better. Her vocal cords should be coming back. So that's just left to be seen. If she needs more recovery time. But whatever the time is that she needs. We are wishing Sincere a speedy recovery because your absence in the music business, the reggae genre is felt. A lot of your fans are missing you. So speedy recovery. So it sounds as if Sincere had a blood clot on her vocal cords. And it probably was due to over singing because that happens when you sing too much and you strain your vocals and you have scarring due to a blood clot or what they call a hematoma. And if you continue to sing while you have that injury on your vocals, you can damage it permanently. That's what it sounds like to me. So here are some pictures of the vocals as it opens and it closes as you sing or talk. Usually if you rest your vocals, like the doctor instructed Sencia, your vocals will come back to normal. But if you keep singing with a 
damaged vocal cord, then it may not come back at all. So it is concerning because that is her bread and butter. Again, we are wishing Sencia a speedy recovery. Her ability to sing is her bread and butter. YouTubers, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button on the YouTube page before leaving. Thank you.